To get line arrays to perform properly, you need to make decisions like how long an array can you deploy? What splay angles give the best coverage? How much shading do you need to even out levels? And where do you need to add delays to get time alignment across your system? There are so many details that go into setting up line arrays. But now, you can envision your sound with Preview loudspeaker software for Electrovoice loudspeakers. Preview's full 3D environment gives a complete picture of how coverage and sound levels change as you make adjustments to your design. Whether you have months before the array goes up, or you're already on site with not much time to get everything sounding great. To help you dial in your sound, Preview gives you multiple ways to visualize it, including a 3D workspace that you can rotate and size to see your sound from every angle, an elevation cut view that shows how uniformly each array covers listener areas, and a unique spectrograph that shows the full frequency response of each cabinet to help you even out the tonal balance from the front to the back of the venue. In addition to acoustical prediction, Preview runs a complex matrix of calculations to ensure that your configuration is within the mechanical capacity of the rigging system, both while the array is being lifted into place and once it's up in the air. A second key feature of Preview is its report generator, which lets you select the level of detail you want to include in system documentation, whether you need to give rigging information to your tech, include illustrations in a bid package, or print out everything for the system manual that you leave on site after an installation. And third, Preview has a built-in project database that lets you organize details of venues and designs so that you can easily save them now and recall them later. The Preview interface is built around toolbars and input panels along the perimeter of the screen. If you follow around the edge, you will see a file management section in the upper left. Below that, the main workflow control panel. On the right side, tools to move, scale, and rotate objects, and global controls for visual layers like ray traces and quick SPL maps. Along the bottom is an area for setting the simulation frequency range. And finally, in the upper right, a section for basic file operations, the report generator, and the help section. Let's take a closer look. Click the hamburger near the upper left corner to open the file menu. To the left, Preview displays the current file we're working on, as well as the history of projects we've had open recently. We can start a new project, load a saved project, or create a new design in Preview using one of the venue wizards, either for an arena or a basic theater. Or we can import a 3D file from a third-party drawing program like SketchUp. So let's start a new project and close this menu. Preview's native drawing tools are organized under the Venue tab in the main Workflow Control Panel. Let's set up a very simple ballroom design with a single flat audience area. To do that, click on the Rectangle tool and we'll see a surface appear in the center of the workspace. When we click on its drop-down arrow, we can adjust the dimensions. Let's make it 35 meters wide by 30 long. We can move this plane into position by dragging the handles, or by clicking on a point and entering its coordinates. Next, let's add a stage and use the object tools to make it a little shallower than the default dimensions. And finally, open the stage drop-down so we can designate that it's not an audience area that we want covered by the main system. And we're done with our basic venue setup. You could add walls and other details, but we don't need them for the simulation because Preview calculates direct SPL without the effect of room boundaries. The next thing we'll want to do is add some loudspeakers. So click on the Sound Sources tab to go to that section of the workflow. You can see that there are options for ground stacks and subarrays, but we're going to choose Flown Source Array to bring up a library of Electrovoice line arrays. Our grid selection activates a filter so that Preview only displays loudspeaker models that will fit that grid. So if we choose X12TC, which is the standard grid for X1 and X2, those are the line array boxes that will show up as our system choices. We're going to set up a hang of X2,
In the dropdown for that cluster, we're going to open the optimizer, which among other things determines the splay angles. But we can also specify how close to the front and back of the audience area we want the array to cover, whether we want it to calculate the most even SPL coverage, the most consistent frequency response, or the best compromise of the two, whether we wanted to choose the optimal height, and how far into the coverage area we want to apply level shading. If we run the optimizer now, the left panel turns red and a large error message appears in the workspace. This tells us that we need to change something because the array configuration exceeds the mechanical limits of the rigging. If we scroll a bit further down in the control panel, we can see more details about the working load along with a suggestion about how to resolve the situation. If we implement the suggestion and change the suspension method from two pick points to a pullback and run the optimizer again, the error message disappears. So now we're okay with our mechanical configuration. This room has a wide audience area, so we'll need at least another hang, and the easiest way to create that is to move and mirror the first one and then position both arrays based on the distribution of the quick map pattern. If we now run a full prediction, we can see that there are a few areas in which we might need to fine tune the shading and maybe add some fills, but we have basic array coverage. As we mouse over the surface, we can see the XYZ coordinates change in the lower left corner of the workspace, and the sound pressure level at any point is visible in the DB range dropdown window. Let's load a different file to look at the functions in the Acoustics tab. This is a model created using Preview's theater template. It uses main and delay arrays to cover the audience areas. We use the sliders at the top of the Acoustics section to change the amount of SPL smoothing or polar smoothing. Directly below those controls, is a display of the frequency response, as measured by virtual microphones placed throughout the venue. If we designate one of them as the reference mic, a delay finder calculator appears. In this case, we can check the distance between the main and delay arrays and find that their arrival times differ by a little less than 8 milliseconds. If we add that delay to the front hang in the Sound Sources tab, and then check the delay again, the systems will be aligned. Here's an example of a complex architectural design with multiple audience areas. The drawing file was created in SketchUp and was imported into Preview using the import tool. In addition to the main visualization, we can also look at an elevation cut view. Now let's go back to the Venue tab to see one more way to bring dimensional information into Preview. Among the icons is one labeled Image. Click it to bring up an import tool. First, we select the image file we want, and once it's visible in the window, drag the cursor across a known distance and enter its length. Click Add Image, and we'll be able to see this plan view in the main workspace. With a few more steps, we can position the image to use it as a guide while we create our venue model. First, we need to rotate the image by 180 degrees because by default, Preview assumes that sound sources are oriented in the plus Y direction. So we rotate the image around the Z axis and move it so that it's centered at the origin. We can recreate this fan-shaped auditorium in three dimensions by using two drawing tools that are specifically for curved areas. The revolution is made up of inner and outer arcs and four endpoints, while the two arcs of the moon shape connect at two endpoints. By scaling these shapes to the image and adding elevation information, we can create a close approximation of the audience areas we want to cover. And once we have an initial design, we can click on versions in the upper right of the screen to save a snapshot and try a different approach. There's no need to save a separate file for every iteration. You can save and recall multiple designs all in the same project file. And when you need to communicate the details of the design, click on Reports 
and select the information you want to include. To learn about other preview features, functions, and operations, click on the stylized letter I in the upper right of the screen to display the help file. Preview loudspeaker software is available in both Windows and Mac versions. And from this short overview, you can see that there's no longer a need to guess about any aspect of setting up ElectroVoice line arrays, because now you can envision your sound with Preview loudspeaker software.